It is one of the more anticipated events on the calendar for hundreds of youth athletes around this state. The Native Youth Olympics kicking off today in Anchorage, first held over 50 years ago, featuring 12 schools. Fast forward to 2024, 40 teams participating from pretty much all corners of the state, each getting a chance to represent their community during the opening ceremonies that ignited three days of competition and celebration of culture and tradition as these games have been played well before the inaugural games in 1971. Like the toe kick, tapping the stick with your toes and landing on both feet. Like when traveling or hunting and needing to be light and quick on your feet, jumping from ice patch to ice patch. Making its return to NYO as an event for the first time in a decade where footwear or lack thereof can make a difference. Um, I've always used these shoes, but my competitors, they the last two were using Crocs, and I was like, I really think I should switch to Crocs because they were killing it. <laughs> <laughs> Next on the docket was a crowd favorite, the wrist carry, a test of strength and endurance. The game represents a successful hunt while also showing appreciation for the animal giving itself somehow harder than it looks, but not if you're Alulia Roman from Team Matsu. 370 feet for her or Nick Lewis Amora, 472 feet for him. A tale of two athletes. Roman says she's only lost once in this event ever, picking up her first NYO gold at 12 years old, while Aroma finally wins this event at 18 years old in his final Native Youth Olympic Games. Wow, I feel great. I was like, I literally told my teammates, I'm gonna cry if I don't get first place because I've been in NYO since junior high, and so having first in senior year makes it more worth it that I stayed in NYO for this long. And for the nightcap, the Alaskan high kick balance, concentration, strength, all put to the test in this one. And one of the more popular events that just kept going up and up as we raised it up to 74 inches for Kaylin Carter, who took gold for the girls, while Anchorage's Matthew Chugaluk had history on his mind. Connecting on 92 inches, they moved it up to the record of 93, and he came up just shy. And he says he's only been competing in traditional games for a couple years, so he's still got time to get that record one day. Hopefully, if I grow an inch or two. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, it was it was crazy the, the feeling out there while attempting the record. So close to tomorrow, more attempts at records with the scissor broad jump, which we saw broken last year, followed by the Eskimo stick pull, the one hand reach, and the two foot high kick with coverage until the closing ceremonies on Alaska's news source.